Hello again guys, this is BladeWolf88 back again with another episode of Never Alone. We're going to jump straight back in where we left off. If you remember from our last video, we'd returned home to the village to find that unfortunately, some evil bugger has decided to ransack the place in search of something and has been tormenting our villager friends and has been kicking them out. There we go, here's a quick recap for you guys. Right, so as I said previously, I mean, I'm not sure what we're going to need to do here. Do we need to rescue our friends? Are we going to get revenge? I mean, I'm not sure how the story is going to play out. Let's go down there and find out what's going on. <laughs> Wow, see, look, it's, it's all been completely destroyed. Ah, so she doesn't know. She doesn't know what's caused it. She just knows that it's ended. Oh, we have um, Earth Spirits. Loon Spirits. I don't know what a Loon Spirit is. Ah, so they, they feel sorry for us. That's nice. I mean, they could have prevented it, you know. But... Oh, I don't like the sound of that. People? Oh, I don't see any little people. Maybe I've got to switch to the fox for this one. That's how you get over. <laughs> uh, I think I got myself stuck somehow. And maybe I've got to use that to jump over? I don't know. Maybe I let down a rope? Nope, no rope. I must have to use the wind to my advantage. Let's try that, shall we? Ah, see, wind comes in handy. It's almost like I knew what I was doing. Right, let's find these little people. Wow, he really did make a mess of this place. Looks, looks a bit like a heron, doesn't it, I guess? Do we jump on you? Hey, hey, come down here. Uh. Oh, I fell to my death. That's right, you just, you just lay, you just lay there. Now that's totally fine. Uh. Do I have to jump up here, maybe? Maybe if I jump up there... Climb up. No? Uh. Ah! See, now that's that's some skill right there. And now she can jump on? There we go. See, why couldn't you just move? Why did I have to do all those acrobatics just so that you could sit there and feel pretty? Not really very fair. Let's go. Although this really doesn't look stable, I'm gonna get off that as soon as I can. I going to ding. Collect up in your room a rock or pick. Owl man? Yep, I can see why. Kanakoma is a shimanic bug. That's one hell of a pipe. It's a lucked up in the bear share of the world. Kanakito, how do you know it? Ah, so he's the guy that's been in the checkpoints. If you never like pink came on. Dein Nacke. Sabare Tilanga. 
Ah, so he's just dropped the bombshell. So I'm guessing we now have to try and find his drum. I'm guessing the little bugger stole it. What do you reckon? Is that it up there? No, that's a rope, isn't it? So, left shift. Lower down the rope. I hear giggling. And I see midgets. <laughs> left A and left shift. I can grab an object. But do I have to... I don't know what this is. Let's take it under here. Maybe I have to move it in there some more. <laughs> or maybe I have to use it to get back up now that I've fallen down like a total moron. There we go. See, totally knew what I was doing. Where do I go from here then? I have no idea what I'm doing. Let's have a look through here. There's got to be something more. Than that. Ah, so she has to move the box, so he can jump on the box, and then he can scurry up, drop down the rope, and then we're good. Now, see, the brain does work. The brain, on occasion, will potentially do as it's told. So now we switch to Foxy. He jumps up here, then left ship to lower the rope. Oh, didn't mean to press that. Sorry, guys. There we go. See, ah, uh, see, the old platforming days are coming back to me. Whoa, that was close, wasn't it? Ah. He's just banging it on his head. That's not how you use a drum, buddy. It's how you get yourself a severe concussion. Oh dear, that's a big flamey rock. I'm gonna... Yeah, I'm gonna keep running them. Yeah, that's gonna kill me. Nope. Come on. Ooh. Oh, I see. So she's gonna have to stand here. Ow. Oh, that's not good. Note to self. Do not touch flaming boulders. You just met that thing, why are you so attached to it? I mean, it, yes it helped you, I get it. Aha! Yeah, that's right. Throwing shit at me. Give me that drum. Damn right I did. Oh, so they're fine to walk on. Of course. Of course they're fine to walk on. Come on, Foxy. Let's go. Ah, so now we've got to do some acrobatics. Come on, buddy. You got this, man. Oh, now I've got to do a wall jump, haven't I? Or not. Oh, I'm an idiot. I'm a total idiot. Total idiot. I've got to drag it over here. Look how nonchalantly she does that. She's like, yeah, do you know what? I'm Hercules. Deal with it. Ah, this one's the wall jump. There we go, see. That's how the pros do it. That's 
more when they don't push the stupid button. I'm gonna grab that, drag that over, and I can get on the rope. So I think it's the simple things, like simple gameplay mechanics like this are what make a good game. You don't need to overwhelm it with loads of flashing lights and Michael Bay that stuff with explosions. <laughs> Ooh, I like presents. Upit Kalakto Uvana Kauna Gingariga Iliginum Pikit Kovlugo. Is that a bowler? Oh, he's going to do a little dance for me. Thank you, buddy. I like it. You carry on, man. You carry on. Clearly had a bit too much to drink. Ah, so it must be a bowler based on that little tab thing I've got that could pop up there. Although, I'm worried if they're giving me a weapon, that means there's going to be things to kill me. Oh, I don't like that. Oh, see, now that's, that's, that's no good, is it? Well, actually, no, that is good. That's actually worked out quite nicely. Hold to aim bola. I don't know what that did, but... Oh, so we can call a spirit to aid us. That's pretty cool. Would be nice to have some sort of reticule to see that. That was purely guesswork there, I'm afraid. Come on, little... I keep going to say wolfy, but he's not a wolf. He is an arctic fox. Oh, that doesn't look good. Can we bowler it? What? Hell yeah. And I just fell to my death. Another smart move by Blade Wolf 88. Oh, so use a hand as guide. Okay. This time, jump. Do not fall to our doom. Fall flat on my ass. Jump to I wouldn't survive a second in real life situation, would I? I'd be useless. And charge her up. Fall flat on her ass because we oh no 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 no. Back over here. There we go. Now crouch down. It's a pretty dab hand with those bowlers, I will admit, you know. Me, I'm probably not knocking myself out, or smacking myself straight in the... Oh, to my death. Probably, yeah, you just sit there and whine, you know, it's fine, you do that, mate. No big deal. No big deal. I did that, swinging it around, choking myself with it by mistake, passing out on the floor, and then God knows what. And, oof, I missed and fell flat on my ass. I've got to be quicker, we've got to be a bit faster on that one, haven't we? Hello, Mr. Birdman. Good to see you again. Oh. Oh, another job for little Foxy. We're going to have to drop down under here. See, how am I going to... Does he just activate it? Or does it follow me? I'm guessing this thing follows me somehow. Follow me up, or...? Huh? 
How do I get it? I have not got a clue here. Oh, I've got to lead it over this way. Let's see, now that would make sense, wouldn't it? Ah, there we go. See, totally knew what I was doing. Had it all planned out, it was all just a big ruse. There we go. So now we've got to get him up there. Backflip. The bees. There we go. I can only imagine how tedious this is for you guys to watch. You've probably sussed out exactly what needs to happen straight away, and I'm just sat here looking like a total killer going, oh, I don't know. And missing. Like that. So are you going to help us? Or are we going to have to jump? We'll jump on there. There we go. Aha! That's how we do it. See, the wind's got to be pretty potent to be able to pick up a young girl and just launch her like that. But she's gonna lay down and have a nap. It's fine. Ah, so we have a little cutscene now. Let's see what's happening here. Ah, he looks... it was a moustache. I thought it was his teeth. Oh no, we're going to have to run away. You ain't going to catch me. <laughs> Just randomly throw fire like that. <laughs> so he doesn't like bowlers. Dabura Ivakhtane. Daudukai. Why would he want a bowler? That's a bit weird. Should just make your own? Leave me alone! Oh, that was close. I nearly missed that one. Rickety bridge. Oh dear, he's gonna catch us up now. No, I will not give you my bowler. I could give this by a guy with a really weird face. So I'm sorry, not happening. Ah, oh, and so he knocked me in the back of the head. Why did he... No. Let's try that one again, with a little bit less fail, and a little bit more awesome. He's really quite eager to get hold of this bowler. And the wolf. Wolf? No. The fox. See, you're letting me down, man. You're letting me down. Come on. You can do better than this. I'm like, what, five? Or something stupid? Let's go. He's got to be getting tired. He looks pretty old. And that moustache must weigh him down. It's quite a beast of a moustache. Oh dear. This is where the polar bear calls, right? Oh dear. This isn't good. I think I'm going to leave this episode here as well. Looks like things have really started to progress quite severely. We have a crazy moustache man that wants to steal our bowler. He's willing to destroy our village to get it. We have a crazy owl guy that likes drums and smoking. And crazy moustache man. <sighs> well, I hope you've enjoyed this second episode. Uh, I'll be really intrigued to find out what you think of it so far, whether it's your cup of tea, whether it's what you expected, whether it isn't. Feel free to leave any comments that you like. Um, I'm probably going to continue playing this one right the way through to completion, and then carry on and we'll find something new to play. If you have any ideas for different types of games you'd like me to try, just drop a comment and I'll, I'll definitely get around to having a look at them for you. Anyway guys, thanks for checking out the video today, thanks for stopping by and having a look, and have a great day, and I'll see you in the next one.